Lesson 9-5, Comparing and Ordering Fractions and Mixed Numbers. When you're trying to compare or order fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So when we say common denominator, we mean the denominator, so the number on the bottom, of both fractions has to be the same. Well, to do that, you want to write the multiples of each denominator. So we have a 6 and a 4, and we need to find the numbers that are in common with both of those denominators. So if we list the multiples of 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24. If we list the multiples of 4, we have 4, 8, 12, and 16. And so you can see that both of them have a 12 in common. So we're going to make our denominator a 12. So now you have to figure out what did you do to the current denominator to get the new one. Well, to make a 6 a 12, you multiplied it by 2. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So I multiply the top by 2 and I get 10. I look over and see what did I do to the 4 to make it a 12, and we multiply that by 3, so I multiply the top by 3 to get 9. So now you could compare your new fractions of 10 twelfths to 9 twelfths, and you know that the 9 twelfths is less than the 10 twelfths, so you could draw your less than symbol. When you're trying to find a common denominator, you can also just multiply the denominators by each other to find the common number. So you could multiply 6 by 4 to get 24. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top, so that would become 20. You could multiply the 4 by the 6 and get 24, and then multiply the top by 6 and get 18. And so now you would have 20 24ths and 18 24ths, which would still get you the same symbol that 18 24ths is less than 20 24ths. Pause the video to compare the two fractions. For the first example, you should be able to look and see that 3 and 1 8 is 3 wholes plus 1 eighth of something whereas 4 6 is just part of one whole. So you know that 3 is more than 1, so your greater than sign should go toward the 1 with the greater whole numbers. Now for the next example, you can't look at it that way because they both have a 3, so then we need to compare our 1 half and our 1 eighth. So we need to get a common denominator, so my multiples for 2 are 2, 4, 6 and 8. Well, we see that we have an 8 in common. So I'm going to make this denominator an 8. To make it an 8, I have to multiply it by 4. So I'm going to multiply the top by 4 and get 4 eighths. So now my fractions are 3 and 4 eighths compared to 3 and 1 eighth. Well, we know that 3 and 1 eighths is less than 3 and 4 eighths, so it's a less than. Pause the video to compare the fractions below. For the first example, you have 11 twelfths compared to 3 twelfths, and you know that this would be the less than symbol because they already have the same denominators. And then you have 1 eighth compared to 3 fourths. You want to get the same denominators, so we're going to turn 4 into 8 by multiplying it by 2, and turn 3 into 6 by multiplying it by 2. And we can compare, and we see that 6 is greater than 1. Then we have 3 and 1 third and 3 and 1 half. The 3's become invisible because they're the same whole number. Then you have to compare 1 third to 1 half. We have to find a common denominator, which would be a 6. So to get 3 into 6, you multiply by 2. So you multiply the top by 2. To turn 2 into 6, you multiply it by 3. 
and so you multiply the top by 3. You can see that 3 is greater than 2, so it becomes a greater than symbol toward the 3 sixths. You can use the same method when you are ordering fractions. The first thing you want to look at is your whole numbers. Obviously, the higher the whole number, the greater the number is. So, just by looking at this set of numbers, we can see we have a 3, a 4, no whole number, and another 3. So that means the 1 8th is going to be first because it is the lowest. And our 4 and 5 twelfths would be last because it's the highest. So then you just have to decide between 3 and 2 thirds and 3 and 3 thirds, 3 eighths, which one of those would be first and second. So we want to find a common number. So for 3, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 24. For 8, you can have 8, 16, and 24. So the common denominator would be 24. So if I turn 3 and 2 thirds with the denominator of 24, then I get a numerator of 16. If I turn 3 and 3 eighths into a denominator of 24, I get a numerator of 9. So we go back to the original number, and we see that 3 and 3 eighths, because the numerator would be a 9 when they have a common denominator, is smaller than 3 and 2 thirds. So this would be how you would order the numbers from least to greatest. Pause the video to complete the lesson review. Make sure you show me this lesson review for verification of watching this video. You're going to want to order the first set of fractions from least to greatest, and then you're going to compare the fractions below. A hint for the top is to break them into pairs and begin to order them in that format.